Isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul. Kura paro ko po ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish sa Pasay. Doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng mga pari, brothers, mga seminarista po at uh, junior professed members ng Society of St. Paul sa Pilipinas at Macau. At gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari po ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria. Kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na sa linggong ito, 26th of January 2020, tayo'y makiisa, makimisa dito po sa Sambuhay TV Mass. Ito po ang huling linggo ng Enero at nasa ikatlong linggo na po tayo sa tatlong put apat na linggo ng karaniwang panahon. The third out of 34 Sundays of Ordinary Time. Kumusta na po kayo? Siyempre po, kinukumusta natin, pinapanalangin natin ang mga matagal natin at regular na kasambuhay, yung pong mga may sakit, nagpapagaling, yung pong mga elderly, yung pong mga super alalay po ninyo na mga caregivers, Gayun din po ang ating pong mga personnel on duty. Lalo-lalo na po yung mga naka-duty dyan po sa iba't ibang mga evacuation centers ng ating pong mga kababayang nasalanta ng Taal Volcano Eruptions. Siya nga po pala ang Our Lady of Sorrows at ang St. Paul's ay ongoing po ang ating pong uh, pagtulong, pangangalap ng donasyon para po sa ating mga kapatid Kaya yung ating mga OFWs If you are interested You can send the uh, uh, and transmit Yung pong inyong mga tulong para sa Taal uh, Volcano Eruption Victims Sa pamagitan po ng bank accounts ng uh, Sambuhay TV At ang gawin po ninyo I-send nyo lang sa amin pagkatapos ang deposit slip no? At ilagay nyo doon for Taal Ayan, para alam na po namin yan Okay? We'd like also to, uh, of course, bless and greet Ito pong ating mga long time na mga mission partners Tulad po netong ating mga kaibigan sa Canada no? Grupo po ni Brother Alex Pideris Si Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes Joy at Alex Reyes si Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman, si Alicia Adorna, at ang kanilang mga pamilya. Likewise, we would like to pray and greet si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang buong angkan, si Miguel, si Sammy, si Jake, si Tony at Lourdes Chowa, si Ed at Norma Arrojado. Sana well na well na itong si Sister Norma. No? Si George at Noemi Villarus, Didit and Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz, Kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan ng Discovery Bay, Hong Kong. Gayun din po ang ating mga long time na mga love offerers, si Gemma Candela, Romel Salvador, May Asuncion Resio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani. Paladio Himotea At uh, binabati rin po natin at isinasama sa panalangin Ito pong ating pong mga kaibigan sa pilgrimage Ang Spell Group at Orange Group ng March 2019 Ang uh, Holy Land Pilgrimage Group ng October 2018 Pinangungunahan po uh, ng grupo ni na at Nina Attorney Grace, Attorney uh, uh, Jane, yeah, si Attorney uh, um, Grace uh, Pulido Tan, si Attorney Nonoy Tan, ano? at ang grupo din na Father Randy, Charlie at Joe Alves, and uh, si Father Joy, siyempre dyan sa Taiwan, ano? and uh, si Anton Santos at Juliet O'Reilly, si uh, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Dato, no? si na Highland, Chrissy, Rosalie C, Rosebel D, at William D, uh, si Dana, Kathleen, at Tal Tantuico. At gayon din po ang uh, work 
Workers of Christ Pilgrimage Group na pinangunahan naman ni Jen Castillo at ni uh, uh, Didith at Joey Jacob. Ang grupo din po ng pilgrimage ni uh, Tito Manny at Tita Lulu Recto kasama po ang kaibigang sina um, Pearl and Rafi Rodriguez etc. And of course lately ang grupo po ng uh, Journeys of Faith, October, November 2019, ang ating pong uh, seatmate na si Gay, no? at uh, si Lady Bird, no? si Ramon, yan, si Maricel Salapantan, si Noel, Mercy at Trish, no? at gayon din po si Father Divino Santos Rabang, at ang kanyang uh, uh, mga kamag-anak si Nanang Alejandrino, si Kathleen, no, si uh, sino pa ba? Si ah, si Maria Teresa Aboytis at Mara, no? And uh, si Lita at Mario Aningalan, no? Uh, of course, nandiyan din po yung mga pinadala ng mga mass intentions sa atin pong YouTube, Messenger at uh, Uh, Facebook accounts mula po kay Marley Jane uh, panalangin po para sa kanyang thesis on stroke medicine no? si Marlin Jane Marley Jane at eternal repose ng nanay si uh, Mami Maria Ma Mamawag no? si Juan de la Cruz eternal repose ng nanay niya na si Felicidad si Maria Socorro Fuentes Eternal repose din po ni Evangelina Hiliodoro at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatorio. Si Rolando Villanueva, nice niyang ipanalangin po natin ang kanyang nanay na si Avelina Villanueva for good health. At ang kaluluwa din naman ni Ronald Ranas Villanueva at Lola Inyang. Si Jackie Ann Linaw. Prayers for the soul of Mama Norma Lam, uh, dun po sa Baltimore, Maryland. No? And strength for the sister, uh, Jazil, who is fighting loneliness. No? Napakahirap na, na problema yan, loneliness. No? Si Maria Advincula, o Mary Advincula, humihingi ng panalangin para po sa kanyang tatay na si Gilberto Advincula, na sana cancer-free na siya. Si uh, Ranel Felis, Felicilda Torquator, na is niyang ipanalangin po natin, si Delia Torquator, uh, na sana'y gumaling niya. Ito po yung kanyang nanay, PWD, hindi makalakad. Si Kat Sandoval, mass intentions and thanksgiving for the Sarte, Sandoval, Tan, and Abaya, and Lo family. Prayers then for the repose of the soul of Buen Consejo, Manuel, Manuel Jr., Felix, Carmelita, Amelia, and Anthony. Si Patria Kunanan, personal intentions and family, and also for the healing of Lourdes Angkao and the eternal repose of Rochelle. Uh, ito pong si uh, Cristeta Obedosa, gusto niyang patuloy nating ipanalangin ang paggaling ng asma ng kanyang anak na si Aaron o Aaron, sabi ng iba. No? Si Lou Lim Santos, prayers for the good health of Mama Loida at si Jack Lopez, Pasasalamat sa Panginoon sa lahat ng biyayang natamo, paggabay na ang tatay daw ay uh, talagang uh, gabayan sa operasyon sa mata, etc. And then, of course, we have Infinity Love asking us to pray for the healing and recovery of Father Albert uh, Bernalear. Yan. At uh, si Mother Maria Chung from hemorrhagic stroke and also for the healing of Edward Ngo, Anna Yuin, Antonia Uy Ongto at si Nancy Lee. 
Yan, okay? Si Mary Lodgew, alam ko po ito kapatid ni Sister Rose Lee, uh, Speedy Recovery of Godofreda Lodgew, okay? And then si Mary Lunon, Prayers for the Daughter, and Guidance also, and Health. Uh, gayon din po si Malu Gonzalez Remigio, Healing for the Anti naman, si Belen Ferreros. Nakikiramay nga pa pula natin kay Father Raymond Ferraris, ang kanya pong uh, kapatid na si Eugene Ferraris, dating seminarista po ng Society of St. Paul, ay sumakabilang buhay. Si, Ato, si Eugene ay isang arkitekto. Si uh, Teddy Risa, prayers for Father Andy Manaog, eternal repose, no? At si Jen Rosario, guidance for the business. Uh, ito po yung Telepreneur Corporation, okay? And uh, other business partners in the team. Si Nenita Palillo Lu, prayers for the complete recovery of Evelyn Palillo. At si Ruby Suyo, prayers for the soul of the cousin Annabel who passed away due to pancreatic cancer. Mula naman kay Pauline Rodriguez, uh, first death anniversary, special intention for the repose of the soul of Justo B. Rodriguez Jr. And of course, I'd like to pray specially for all those people working with Garochi, Garochi Dental and Implant Center, sa pangunguna po ni Dr. Rico Martin Axel Garochi at ni Dr. Azel Jade Tan. Ang kanila pong dental clinic ay nandiyan po sa fourth floor ng Montivar Building sa Jupiter, Makati. Ngayon po, tignan natin ang mga pagbasa ng ikatlong linggo ng Ordinary Times. Para po sa akin, the readings are telling us about the mission of Jesus. O, nasa ikatlong linggo tayo ng Ordinary Times. Tatahakin natin ang kwento ng mission ng Panginoong Yesus. And it's a mission to gather into oneness. Ang kalooban ng Diyos ay tipunin tayo, lahat tayo ay akayin patungo sa iisang kaharian, ang kaharian ng Ama. At uh, sabi nga po sa first reading natin sa Isaiah chapter 8, yung pong Sebulun at Naptali sa Galilee ay inukupa ng mga hentil pero ngayon, Sabi ng uh, propesya ni Isaias uh, sa pamagitan ng pagdating ng Mesiyas, aakayin sa liwanag. At uh, sa second reading po natin sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1, ang ganda po ng pahiwatig ng Apostol Pablo. Sabi niya, in the name of Jesus, no divisions. Walang kanya-kanya, but the same mind, the same purpose, no? And isa lang ang battle cry natin. Sabi po ni San Pablo, I belong to Christ. Hindi yung I belong to Peter, I belong to Cephas, I belong to Paul. No, I belong to Christ. Yan, no? Ang ganda, no? And uh, sa Matthew chapter 4, verse 12 to verse 23, maririnig po natin ang pagsisimula ng pangangaral ng Panginoong Yesus. And again, you see the unity. Hindi niya sinapawan si Juan Bautista. Hinintay niyang matapos si Juan Bautista bago siya magsimula. At nung magsimula ang Panginoong Yesus, isa lang po ang sinabi niya sa mga alagad niya, I will make you become fishers of men. Tagapag, tagapangalap. No? Kakalapin niyo ang lahat ng tao patungo sa iisang bagay, ang pag ng Diyos. So, brothers and sisters, as we celebrate our Mass today, let us pray for the gift of unity, pagkakaisa, sa puso, sa isip, sa pananampalataya, sa pananalangin, sapagkat yan po ang kagustuhan ng Panginoong Jesus. Narito na po ang atin pong banal na misa, 
mula po sa oratorio ni Maria, reyna ng mga apostol. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Fittingly today, we, as we celebrate the Sunday of the Word of God and National Bible Sunday, the Gospel decri- describes the beginnings of Jesus' public ministry. With the first disciples, Jesus goes around Galilee, proclaiming the Gospel of the Kingdom and curing every disease and illness among the people. Let us heed Jesus' call to repentance and to follow Him. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First, the Lord degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispel this darkness, for there is no gloom where but now there was distress. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom. A light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ must not be emptied of its meaning. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang araw po para sa ating mga kapatid na OFWs sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Nakakasama po natin magdiwang ng ating Sunday Mass. Ang ating pong Sunday Mass ngayon ay very historic kasi for the first time, sineselebrate po natin ang third Sunday of the year na Sunday of the Word of God. Ito po ay dinikri ni Pope Francis um, sa kanyang uh, sulat na Aperiut Ilium. No? Alalabas lamang po ng kanyang uh, sulat na yon at uh, sinabi niya na napakahalaga na pagnilayan ang salita ng Diyos bilang siyang bukal ng maraming maraming yaman na makakapag payaman lalo sa buong bayan ng Diyos. Kumbaga, isa siyang the treasure chest na kapag siya ay pinagnilayan mo at isinikap mong isa buhay, maraming magandang mangyayari sa bayan ng Diyos, which is the church. Alam niyo, matagal na panahon na nating ipinagdiriwang itong third Sunday of the year, of the new year, yung bagong taon, bilang uh, bilang uh, Bible Sunday, National Bible Sunday, dito sa Pilipinas. Pero si Pope Francis, dinikri niya na ang third Sunday of ordinary time, pagkatapos na nating magdiwang ng Kapaskuhan, pagkatapos nating magdiwang ng New Year, Pagkatapos nating magdiwang, pinagbigyan pa tayo yung isang hirit last Sunday, kung natatandaan ninyo, yung Solemnity of Santo Nino. Di ba? Nagkaroon tayo ng piyesta ng Santo Nino. Eh, last Sunday, bata pa lang si Jesus. Nino pa nga lang eh. Pero ngayon, lumaki na siya. At yun din ang hamon sa atin ng mga pagbasa ngayon. Na sana sa ating buhay pananampalataya, hindi tayo parang laging may gatas sa labi. Palagi na lamang tayong nagtatanong tungkol sa pananampalataya. Ayaw nating mag-aral, ayaw nating matuto. Para na lang tayong palaging nasa kinder. Kaya kinakailangan mag-grow up din tayo sa ating pananampalataya. simple simpleng bagay. Sana matutunan natin. Hindi yung palagi na lang tayong uh, nanguhula, palagi na lamang tayong Um, nag uh, nagbabaka sakali no samantalang pwede naman nating malaman kung ano ba talaga yung yung tunay na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon kagaya ng yung araw na ito 
napakinggan natin uh, si Jesus ayon sa Ebanghelyo nang marinig niya na yung kanyang makalawang pinsan na si John the Baptist ay inaresto na. Ano ang sabi dito? Si Jesus ay pumunta sa Galilee. Tandaan niyo ang Galilee hindi siya ang sentro hindi siya ang sentro ng Israel. Umaga siya ay nasa parang probinsya. At doon sa Galilee, ang mga tao halo-halo. Hindi na sila yung mga purong hudyo. Ang Galilee ay nililook down ng ibang mga tao. Kung natatandaan ninyo, yung isang Pharisee na um, minsan ay uh, nag- nagtatanggol kay Jesus, no? ang siyabi sa kanya ng kanyang mga kapwa pariseyo, you are not uh, from Galilee, are you? No? Sapagkat alam mo na wala namang propeta na mang, maaring manggaling sa Galilee. Ngayon, kung merong mahalagang tao na tayo pag-uusapan, dapat doon siya manggaling sa Jerusalem. Para maintindihan nyo kung ano yung Galilee, kailangan makita nyo ang Jerusalem. Ito yung the big city. Kung saan lahat ng nangyayari dito nasa loob ng balita. Yung Galilee, wala kwenta yan. Yung mga tao dyan, halo-halo. May purong hudyo na nagpakasal sa pagano, kaya ang tingin ng mga taga Jerusalem, big city. Naku, mga maruruming tao yan. Mga makas- makasalanan. Kasi halo-halo ang mga idea dyan, mga iniisip dyan, pati yung pagsamba nila, halo-halo na paniniwala. Sumatalang dito, sa, sa Jerusalem, sa sentro, kung nasaan nakatayo ang templo, kami ay very observant sa aming pananampalataya ng mga Hudyo. Yun ang tingin nila sa kanilang sarili. Sila yung malinis, yun ang marumi. Yung Galilee. Galilee of the Gentiles nga ang tawag. Eh. Pero tinanin nyo, doon pinili ni Jesus pumunta. Nung malaman niya na naaresto na si John the Baptist, signal na yun sa kanya. Eh. Si John the Baptist, tandaan ninyo, ang forerunner. Siya ang tagapagpakilala sa Messiah. E eh, nung naipakilala na ni John the Baptist, inaresto na siya. Pagkatapos papatay na siya, kaya alam na ni Jesus, nako, oras ko na. It is time for me now to step up. Ito yung sinasabi ni John the Baptist na he must increase, I must decrease. Si John the Baptist nag-decrease na, inaresto na, but Jesus now has to come up in the open. He has to come out in the open and present himself pero pinili niya, hindi doon sa big city. Dapat sana kung gusto niya ma-approve siya ng mga leaders ng relihiyon kung gusto niya ma-approve siya ng mga leaders ng gobyerno, dapat sana doon siya nakipagmabutihan sa big city. Pero hindi niya kinawa yun. Kasi alam niya, hindi doon nakasalalay ang pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Kung tatanggapin ba siya o hindi nitong mga taga big city. Sa kanya, ang mahalaga, ipahayag ang salita ng Diyos dito sa mga taong itinuturing ng mga baliwala at kinakawawa. Ito yung mga paborito ng Diyos. Eh. Mga sinners. Galilee of the Gentiles. At ano ang sabi dito? Doon ho sa Galilee, nagsimula si Jesus magturo sa mga tao. Yun ang una niyang ginawa. Nagturo. Pagkatapos, nagpagaling ng mga may sakit. Pero, alam naman ni Jesus na, hindi naman niya pwedeng gawin yun na siya lang habang buhay, habang panahon. Kaya, sabi niya, kinakailangan ko mga katuwang sa trabahong ito. Kaya, pag, bukod sa pagtuturo at pagpapagaling ng may sakit, tumawag din siya ng mga apostles. At narinig natin, nagsimula siyang tumawag ng mga apostles niya doon sa tabing dagat. Ang sabi dito, si Cephas, si Peter yun eh, at si Andrew, they were casting their nets. Tinatapon nila yung kanilang lambat. 
nag umaasa pa sila may mahuhuli silang mga isda. Pero si James and John na anak ni Zebedee, ang sabi, they were mending their nets. Yung mga napunit-punit na lambat, tinatahi nila at inaayos nila. Kabuhol-buhol na. No? Inaayos nila. May mga tao na nagsisimula sa buhay, tinatapon yung lambat, mga OFWs, kasi simula pa lang mag-abroad, mag-ipon. No? Pero meron din naman yung parang tapos na, no? nasa dakong huli na, nag na, give up na, di na ako magpapatuloy. For good na. No? Iba-iba ang yung state of life, pero nasa ang kaman, pupuntahan ka ni Jesus at tatawagin ka. Tinan nyo, tinawag sila at ang sabi, binitiwan ka agad ni James and John yung kanilang ginagawa, pati tatay, pati si Mang Sebedi. Kung ikaw yung tatay, ano kaya mararamdaman mo? Iniwang ka ng dalawang anak mo, walang kaabog-abog. No? Tandaan ninyo, ang Word of God, hindi siya news report. Hindi ito pag-uulat ng mga aktual na pangyayari noong panahon ni Jesus. The Word of God is primarily not news, not even history, but it is a book of faith. Kaya nung isulat ito ni Matthew, meron siyang pakay. Ano ang gusto niyang palutangin nung sinulat niya ito? Na nang tumawag si Jesus, isa siyang rabbi o guro na you cannot resist. He is very attractive. He has a very magnetic personality na talagang susunod ka sa kanya. Maaring ang katotohanan nito, umuwi muna sila, kumuha muna ng ilang gamit, nagpaalam. Pero ang gusto lang ipagdiinan dito ni St. Matthew, hindi naman siya nagbubulaan. Ang gusto lang niya ipagdiinan ay Jesus is very attractive and powerful in a good way. At itong mga apostles ay talaga namang kaya nilang bitiwan ang lahat alang-alang sa Panginoon. Uh, ito yung uh, hamon sa atin ngayong pinagdiriwang natin ang uh, Sunday of the Word of God. Ang ating pagsasaluhan palagi para tayo makasunod sa Panginoon. Ang ating pare-parehong pagkain tuwing araw ng linggo, lalong-lalo na, ay ang salita ng Diyos. Ang salita ng Diyos ang bumubuhay sa atin. At ang salita ng Diyos ay tandaan natin, salitang buhay, salita ng mga taong nanampalataya. At tayo rin nawa ay magkaroon ng tunay na pananampalataya sa mga salita ng Diyos. Ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi dapat gamitin para pag-awayan. Hindi dapat gamitin para ipangpalo sa ibang kristyano at sabihin, kami ang tama, kayo ang mali. Tanda ninyo, ang salita ng Diyos, walang iba ko hindi si Jesus mismo. Pero ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang itong aklat na ito. Kasi kung ito yung nanatiling nakasara, at hindi ito kikibo. Paano magiging salita ng Diyos ito kung hindi man lamang natin bubuklatin, kung hindi man lamang natin babasahin, kung hindi man lamang natin pagninilayan, kung hindi man lamang natin sisikaping isa buhay. Tandaan ninyo, bago na, na ilimbag ang salita ng Diyos, ito muna ay isinulat. Isinulat ng mga unang pari, mga monks noong unang panahon. Pero bago yan isinulat, ito muna ay pinag-usapan. Ikinwento muna ng mga apostol. At ito yung tinatawag nating tradition. The tradition of the church. Ang tradisyon ay hindi lang yung kung paano lumakad sa misa at magmarcha, kung paano humawak ng aklat at maglagay ng kandila dito. Hindi lamang yun ang tradisyon. Ang tradisyon ay kung paano nabuo ang salita ng Diyos at naging isang aklat, ang tinatawag natin ngayong Biblia. May mga tao ho ang sasabihin, basta wala sa Biblia, hindi ko paniniwalaan. Ginagawang Diyos-Diyosan ang aklat. 
at binabaliwala na yung mga katuruan bago pa na ilimbag ang Biblia. Binabaliwala na ang katuruan ng leader ngayon ng simbahan, ang Santo Papa, na siyang naggumagabay sa atin para sa tamang pagtunghay at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. Napakahalaga po. Tandaan natin na buo man ang salita ng Diyos, ito ay dahil sa tradisyon at sa scripture. Dalawa po yan. Parang isang upuan, silya, na dalawa ang paa. Sacred tradition and scripture. Tradition and scripture. Hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin yung isa, pilay ka. Kasi hindi mo mauunawaan. Paano ito naunawaan ng mga unang-una pang mga Kristiyano? Paano ito itinuro? Dahil ito ay matagal nang pinag-aralan. May mga tao po ang sasabihin ay kung ano lamang yung nasusulat na literal, yun na lamang ang pagkaunawa. Mali po yun. Kasi binigyan tayo ng katalinuhan ng Panginoon para pag-aralan yung background, yung kaugalian ng mga tao sa panahong yun, pati pa nga yung mga uh, pagguhukay, uh, uh, nakaka-discover sila ng mga iba-ibang scrolls, no? yung mga nag-aaral sa Bible. Gagamitin po natin ang talino ng tao, pero hihingi rin tayo siyempre ng paggabay sa Panginoon, sa pamamagitan ng patuloy na pananampalataya. Kaya, ngayon pong linggo ng Word of God, the first time na pinagdiriwang po ng buong sang Kristiyanuhan, ng buong simbahang katolika, hingin po natin sa Panginoon na sana magkaroon tayo ng pagmamahal sa salita ng Diyos. Sana matuto tayong mag-aral, makinig, at uh, magnilay at higit sa lahat isa buhay ang ating pinapakinggan. Amen. Bilang isang bayan ng Diyos, tayo po ngayon ay tumayo para sa ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God. Let us pray to the Father that as His Son's faithful disciples and in celebration of the Sunday of the Word of God, we may reflect Christ's Word to the world around us. Full of trust, let us say, Lord, make us your true disciples. Lord, make us your true disciples. May our Pope Francis, Bishop, Priest, and Religious, who have been called by Jesus in a special way, to bring the light of His good news to peoples, 
carry out their mission with generosity and perseverance. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. May world leaders respond with wisdom and humility to the ongoing crisis caused by the evil of terrorism and find ways to stop the spread of violence and hatred in the world. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. May those whose lives are overshadowed by sin and affliction experience the joy of salvation, especially through repentance and the sacrament of reconciliation. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. May the members of our Christian community continue to be inspired by the Word of God and enjoy one another's presence and support, knowing that as disciples of Jesus, we are never alone when we work for God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. May our brothers and sisters who have gone before be welcomed into God's presence and be numbered among those who sing the praises of God with the angels and saints. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, make us your true disciples. Merciful Lord, you sent us your Son to be our light and our salvation. Make us listen to him, put his teaching into practice, and joyfully share the good news that we have received. This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. sacrifice yours and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings O Lord we pray and in sanctifying them grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin by the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, our Savior and our Lord. He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Prayer during communion. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in prayer the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God keep you from all harm and bless you with every good gift. Amen. May He set His word in your heart and fill you with lasting joy. Amen. May you walk in His ways, always knowing what is right and good, until you enter your heavenly inheritance. Amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Magtutuloy po tayo sa ating pabaon na katekisis mula po sa Laudato Si. Ang pangaral po ni Pope Francis tungkol sa spirituality at pangangalaga ng ating kalikasan bilang regalo ng Diyos, bilang tahanan nating lahat. At uh, dito po sa chapter 4, ay uh, iniisa-isa na po ni Pope Francis ano dapat ang laman ng integral ecology. Nung una, nung nakaraang linggo, narinig natin yung sinabi po ni Pope Francis na dapat ang ecology may environmental, may economic no? component, no? dikit-dikit lahat yan because what happens in one area affects all the others. Ngayon naman po, Uh, sa paragraph 143 magsisimula ang tawag po ni Pope Francis kailangan ang ecology din ay cultural ecology okay so sabi niya ang pangangalaga ng kalikasan uh, dapat ding isaalang-alang yung makasaysayan artistiko at kultural na pamana patrimony Bawat lugar kanya ay mayroong kasaysayan. Okay, ang ganda yan, no? So, ipipreserve mo yung isang lugar, hindi lang po yan generic, a lugar, forest, ah, hindi. Bawat lugar kanya mayroong cultural, historical value. O, halimbawa, di ba? Ang bundok mayon, o, o ang bulkan ng Taal, pinakamaliit na bulkan, o, di ba? Or uh, halimbawa, ipepreserve po natin yung mga, uh, yung mga forest, no? kagubatan, jaan po sa may bandang bulakan. O, eh, alam nyo po, jaan nagkuta si Nabonipasyo, si Aguinaldo. Uh, si Aguinaldo. So, may historical value yan. Ano? So, sabi nga niya, greater attention to the local culture must also be done when we study environmental problems. Yan, no? Sabi niya, a consumeristic vision 
encouraged by mechanism, has a leveling effect on culture and we forget na hindi lamang po technical, scientific ang pag-aayos ng kalikasan. Kung hindi, kanya merong cultural identity ang komunidad na nasa isang lugar. No? So, mas mahirap daw do sa disappearance ng mga hayop, disappearance ng mga katutubong mga halaman, yan yan, no? Ah, sa Ilocos noon, doon ako nakakatikim ng katuday. Ayan. So, talagang ibang klasing halaman yon at ibang klasing uh, yun po nga pala ay ginagawang vegetable, katuday, no? Sa norte yan. At uh, yan po ay pampababa daw ng blood pressure. Oh, eh, alam nyo, bawat lugar, kung ganon, hindi lang dapat pangalagaan yung disappearance ng hayop, yung disappearance ng mga katutubong mga halaman. Kung hindi, more serious, sabi ni Pope Francis, is the disappearance of culture. Bawat lugar, may kultura. Halimbawa, umakyat ka doon sa Kalinga Payaw, oh, di ba? Yung mga rice terraces dyan. Yung mga hanging coffins dyan. O eh, yan po ay kultural. Hindi lang po yan environmental. O, uh, kanya, lalo-lalo na po sa mga indigenous communities. Yung mga uh, komunidad ng mga katutubo. No? And uh, ang ganda na sabi ni Pope Francis, kung gusto natin pangalagaan ang kalikasan, the best way kanya is to let the indigenous culture, yung mga katutubo sa isang lugar, na sila po ang mga laga sa kalikasan sa kanilang lugar. Kasi ang tingin nila dyan, hindi lang yan lugar. Yan ay biyaya ng Diyos sa kanilang mga ancestors at sa kanila. So, the best kanya is to leave the land under the care of the indigenous communities sapagkat para sa kanila ang lugar na yan ay sacred space. Di ba? Oh, sacred space. Para dun sa mga eta. Halimbawa, ang bundok ng pinatubo ay hindi lamang po bundok. Yun ay kanilang sacred space. Yun para sa kanila ang ibinigay na lugar ng Diyos sa kanila. Kaya, uh, ang tunay na pangangalaga ng kalikasan, may cultural na component. Recognizing the group, the tribe, the culture that is connected with the place. Okay? So, isusunod po natin ang mga ilang pang mga bagay pagkatapos nito. In the meantime, nais po namin kayong uh, anyayahan na maging kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng unang-una yung inyo po mga love offerings. No? Kailangan po natin yan para i-upgrade ang ating pong production, lalo-lalo na po yung ating uh, dream, <laughs> panaginip na gawin ng parokya ng Pasay, Our Lady of Sorrows, na magiging bagong tahanan ng Sambuhay TV Apostolate. So, salamat po doon sa mga nagbibigay ng inyong mga donations. God bless you more. Gayun din po, you can be a mission partner by just spreading the news. Ipakilala po ninyo itong ating apostolado. Kaya nasa screen po natin ang ating mga cable channels, ang ating YouTube, ang ating Facebook na ipakilala nyo po sa inyong mga kamag-anakan. And then, of course, you can also be a mission partner by feeding us with mass intentions. Kaya po, meron tayong dedicated cellular number para sa inyong mga mass intentions. So, sa ngalan po ng St. Paul Audiovisuals at ng Sambuhay TV Production Staff, sa pangunguna po ni Father Resti de la Peña, ni Reverend Kiv Di Matatak at gayon din po ni Cleric Edward Dantes doing all for the gospel iniiwan po natin ang panalangin ni Blessed Alberione 
to spend the week well. My dear, my sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, actions, that I may always please you and Jesus, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Jesus, save us, like you save us,